Hi, this is Sylvain from Create Your Biz Today. And in this video, we'll see how to create capture page or squeeze pages to be able to get leads from your visitors. So without further ado, let's go on my screen. So to start, first, you need to have an account with System.io. So if you don't have your account, you can click on the link below. You will get two things. You will get 30 days trials instead of 14. So you will get a longer trial to be able to test System.io properly. And you will also get a free training of eight videos from the founder of System.io. Once you have your account, log in and click on Funnels menu. And then this is where we will start to create the capture page and the capture funnel. We will create a one step capture page or squeeze page. You just need to click on create there. And you can either select the build an audience funnel type or a custom one. So the difference is just that the build an audience will have two steps already in there. It will, uh, you will have the squeeze page and the thank you page. The custom, you don't have anything. So you, we will check custom just to show you. Then you, you put a name for your funnel. So I will say capture funnel one, for example, but you need to choose something better for sure. Then you can choose the currency here. So we'll put US dollar and then create. You see here the basic funnel without any step created already. So we create a step here. We say, okay, this one is the capture page one. For example, capture page one, page one. And then we choose the type. It will be a squeeze page. Okay, so we have different type of squeeze page. We have the inline form, pop-up form, opt-in thank you page. Uh, we will concentrate on squeeze page and pop-up form at this time. So save, then the page is there in the funnel. Then you, it shows all the templates you have available. So we will choose one uh, here, but you, you can modify it. It's a block editor, so it's really simple to modify it. So there you need to put the URL path for this new page. So I will just put capture one. But if you want to have this page reference on Google, on search engine, you need to come up with the proper URL path, also the name. So don't forget to click save when you do change in that part, otherwise you will lose your change. Once you've done that, just click the magic wand, edit, and then you will get the editor here. So it's a basic block editor, as a lot of others in, on the web, if you are used to WordPress, for example, you will have Divi, or you will have uh, Elementor. It's the same kind of thing of Tribe Architect. It's a bit the same. And uh, it's pretty simple. You have different sections. And uh, this section have each uh, parameters associated with it. So when you click on the icon there of each block, in fact, you will have the, the corresponding parameters available. You have the margin, the padding, the background color. Uh, for text part, you will have the fonts and all that stuff so it's pretty simple to modify as you want so here we have the opt-in page the capture page with all the blocks already there with the message this is an example so you have three step system to sell on autopilot send me the video training so you, you have video training behind and here we see that we are capturing the email and the first name but you see here on this that, that it seems to be a mistake in fact because here you have the name And it said email and here email and first name. So that means the fields are not associated with the right things. So you just need to select here the parameters for this field. And then we want to put there the first name. So we will type here first name for the placeholder. And then we will associate it with the right field in your email list. It's first name. And we'll do the same for the next field. So we click also on settings. And here we want to have the email address and we put email. So now you see on the capture page that we are we have the first name there corresponding to the right field and the email also. So we are good to go. So now what happens when the visitor click on that button? So if we check the parameters there, we'll see that the action on the button click is send form. Send form will save the information in your mailing list. So this is what we want. And the next thing, once the person click on the button, it will be redirected to something else. 
And in this case, it's to the next step of the funnel. So the next page you have in your funnel, it will be automatically redirected there. You can choose something else if you want. You can redirect to a custom URL or don't redirect at all. To note there, it's a one step uh, squeeze page yeah? because you capture everything on one form. But uh, you can also have two step opt-in form and this is what we will see next. One more thing. Uh, it's a single opt-in, that means the person will be automatically uh, saved to your email list without confirmation. So if you want to activate double opt-in form, you just need to click there and it will activate the double opt-in. That means to be on your email list, this person will need to confirm clicking a link on an email that will be sent to him. So at least you are sure that this user really wants to be part of your email list. Okay, so now we have our opt-in form ready. We save the changes there and we exit. So we are done now with our one step squeeze page or one step opt-in form. So how if you want to create a two step opt-in form? So it's pretty simple. I just created another funnel there. Uh, the same with the squeeze page. I'm still on the template uh, selection here. And you see, in fact, you just need to select the right template. Uh, for example, this one, you see that you have the field, uh, the email field there. So that means it's a one step opt-in. But for example, for this one, you see, you don't have any way to put your email address. So it's a two-step opt-in. So if we select it, so we put uh, quick stuff there, save, and then it is it. We see here, we have just the button. So it's a two-step opt-in form for a book. So if we click on this button to see, we see here the action change. Instead of send form to save the contact, it will show a pop-up. And the pop-up is pop-up number one. So how to access or to create pop-up in this funnel, you just have this button there. You click on pop-up and then you see the pop-up one is there. You just click on the eye here and then you have this pop-up. You can design it so you can change the text. You can modify it. And you see here you have the email address field that is properly mapped to the right field there. So we see here input type email, placeholder is, is properly set and then send me the book. Here, we see that now it's the action is send form, so it will save the contact in your list. And then go to next step, so the thank you page, so you have the, the squeeze page complete. So it's pretty simple. You can either create a pop-up from scratch or use uh, one step or two step uh, opt-in uh, template. So you just need to start from there and modify as you want. So you see, it's pretty simple to use and to create things in a few minutes. So now you have your Swiss page in place and uh, the email address will be saved into your, uh, your mailing list. But one thing that is very important if you want to be able to communicate with the persons you have in your email address is to segment it properly. That means you need to know from where they're coming, what are their interests, depending on the offers you have created. So to do that, in fact, you will just use the automation rules we have on each page available. And this automation rule enable you to create different actions when someone register or subscribe to your opt-in form. So this is what we will see now. So I have this quiz page there. We click on automation rule and we see the trigger here. What happened when someone subscribed to this form? In fact, you can put an action there and you see that you have a few choice here and one of them is add a tag. So as I said before, System.io is using only one e email list and then you need to segment it properly using tags. So it's pretty easy to do. You just need to set a tag there. So you put add tag. So when someone is registering, automatically a tag is ad added to this contact. So you know from where is this coming, what is interest and stuff like that. So at this time, I don't have the, content, the tag created, so I can't put it, okay? So first thing, you need to create a tag. So you go in contact, tags here, then add new tag. I will put, okay, this is a new lead, so I, I tag it as lead, okay? And then the tag is created, you see it here. And then I add another tag, for example, I will say, okay, it's from YouTube, on, because it's a video. And it's uh, related to uh, automate sale, for example. So from there, you see from where it is coming and which interest. So I click save. 
So I have my two tags created. I go back to my funnel, uh, capture funnel 2, in the automate rules there. I put an action and I will add two tags. I will add one tag. This is a new lead. So this is a new lead. When, once this person buys something, I will change this tag to be customer instead of lead. So then you, you will be able to have an automatic segmentation of your list from the leads and your customers. And then you add another tag. Again, add tag. And then here I can put from YouTube and uh, it will be automate sales. There, once you've done that, you save the rule. Just think, remember to save here, you're clicking that button. Once the rule is saved, automatically when someone subscribes to this form, it will automatically put the tags to the contact. So in your contact list, you will be, you will have the contact and then the tags of this contact. So now you are good to go. So what you can do also when you want to capture uh, email, you want to add them to uh, campaign. That means you created uh, an email, email sequence. Uh, you will send them, for example, uh, one mail every two days, every three days uh, to, to warm them up, in fact, and to, to show that you add value to help them to progress in, in the matter. And then to do that, you can also add an action there. And you see here, subscribe to campaign. So you just click there. You choose the campaign that is existing already, so you need to have created it before. And then, uh, let's say this one, for example, and then the campaign is set. So you save that, that means once your user is subscribing to your form, it will also be subscribed to the campaign. So if you set that there will be an email sent directly, it will get this email first, and then two days after, the next email, and so on. So once you've done that, in fact, you have a capture page ready and then you need to check your thank you page so if we click on thank you uh, you can select uh, templates so it's the same principle uh, with the editor you can edit whatever you want uh, here and then uh, you need to select it and let's say thank you page here thank you page one and save that okay so you have your thank you page at this time, the funnel is ready, ready to capture email. So you need to send traffic to it. Okay. So it's that simple with System.io. So remember, if you don't have an account yet, just check the link below. You will get 30 days instead of 40 to try it. And then you will have eight free videos from the founder of uh, System.io. So if you like this video, don't hesitate to drop a like, a comment if you want and also subscribe to the channel. So see you in the next video, bye bye.